Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It's Corey and tonight I'm very excited. I have in my hands, in my possession, not this 2020 Bowman. No, no, no. I have what I believe to be the world's final Craigfield package. The North Korean facility burnt down and now I believe this is it. This is courtesy of Novin SLD, Craigfield. I am so honored to be opening this package. It's got that high quality packaging, you see the tape. And don't forget the stickers, the crabs. Craig gave me crabs and a shark. So let us see what we got going on inside of here. We got some literature. So let's see what the literature says. Let's see if it's appropriate for the camera. It is. Boom, Craig Field, MSRP 79.95. You go, Craig. A mini MLB poster, a mini authentic MLB helmet, MLB sticker and holograms of your favorite teams, three to four packs of MLB cards, Pack and pack of cards including Hall of Famers, stars, gold cards, one Dennis Lamp card, football, hockey, baseball, basketball cards. Each Craig Field contains two hits with an autograph or relic. One in 100 will receive a hot box, aka the hot Craig, that will include a graded card. Some packs may have been searched prior to purchase. No refunds. Fire damage cards will not be replaced. Craig Field is a subsidiary of Craig America Enterprises, all rights reserved. Craig Field. And that is courtesy of Novin SLD. You can look him up. I'll eventually have a link on my in my description to Craig, who is a very funny guy. And let's see what is down inside this bag. I have to make sure there's nothing down there that can get me. I see some 92 Pinnacle. And another bag. This one has got some characters on it. This one may be special. His roommate may have decorated this one. On a late night bender. Let's see what is in this bag. And this thing is really well packaged. You can barely get inside of it. We're just gonna have to rip this bag. The tape is sticking. I'm gonna risk my limbs and put my hands inside this bag and see what's in there. Oh my, all kinds of goodies and boom, there it is. The mini helmet of the Tampa Bay Rays. So let's see what we got in here. Boom, autograph, Corey Vaughn. Prospect signatures, perennial prism draft picks. It's a Corey. So we got us a Corey, and now we got a football. It looks like a relic of what in the world it is a fire damage. This is crazy. Fire damage jersey, Marquise Goodwin. He must have set fire to that jersey in the factory. That is pretty, look at that. Still has the burn marks on it. So, two hits right out of the gate. We got the Reds and the 1914 World Series trivia of the Miracle Braves. We are loaded up here. Philly sticker. And we got a bag full of goodies right here. Let's see what's the bag full of goodies. We move the literature over here. Got some Hall of Famers. We got Ozzie Smith, Ozzie Yen. There's the Dennis Lamp card, as it said, we would be guaranteed. John Jaha from El Paso Diablos Pro Cards. And Eric Plunk, classic Greg Swindell. Dan Quisenberry, Bernard Gilkey, 
we are getting them all tonight. This one definitely should have been going to the past of the life. Eliza Johnson, First Ladies. Harriet Tubman. There's a couple Allen Ginter cards. This is a back alley. I have no idea what this is right here. It says Allen and Ginter 2012. Interesting. There's the Benito Santiago Pinnacle. Sierra, couple couple Sierras. And they always pretty cool grips card that they had showing how to throw the pitches. Knuckleball, Tom Candiotti. Jack McDowell. Split finger. Some very interesting cards. There is a hot. I don't know what HOT stands for, but pretty, pretty cool. Awesome stuff going on right here. Portland Lighthead, Keys to the City, Allen and Gunter. All the cards that you want in a box. Swin Cash. Daryl Whitmore Gold Rush. John Valentin Gold Rush with some minor paper loss. San Francisco Giants. Black Sot Scandal Slim Sally. Hmm. Interesting. Triple Play Stickers. Tattoos, I'm sorry. Oh, Donnie Wahlberg. Now of Blue Bloods fame, Donnie Wahlberg. So far, probably the best card in the set. Got the Chavi, Darren Hall. Got some more 91 Fleer, 90 Donruss. We got some basketball, classic draft picks, 1992. Randy Woods, Dwayne Norris, Dave Parker, Mini. Always love these little Major League Leaders cards. Pretty cool. Andrew McCutcheon, Hugh Darvish, Triple Play. Possibly the best set ever made. Joe Maurer stickers. Tattoos. Walking Dead, Glenn and Maggie. Surprise wild card. George W. And no idea who that is. So some very interesting cards there. Craig Field is loaded with goodies. I recommend everybody goes out and get themselves a, a bag. Feel kind of blessed to be opening this final. Look at this. He said they may have been searched, so we're going to see if the 92 Pinnacle is indeed 90. Oh, it's not 90. It's 1988 Donruss. Tim Stoddard. Bill Madlock. John Morris. Ken Phelps. Dave Clark. Dave Stewart. And Ernest Riles. So I'm going to say I think that was searched. I think it was searched. I put that in the wrong pile. And then we got some more. Let's see what year that is. 1990 Donruss. So these are the nice red cards. These appear to be authentic. Not searched because they stick into it. So possibly a, a Ripken in here to make this even better. Nolan Ryan. 1990 Donruss pack fresh and the Juan Gonzalez not the reverse negative because that would have made this epic Craig has sent me some packs before where I have found some pretty awesome stuff Tim Raines, Dennis Eckersley Oral Hershiser this possibly is one of the best packs of 1990 Donruss you can get had three or four Hall of Famers in that pack 
and the Juan Gonzalez rookie card, who is one of the best rookies you can get out of this set. The Diamond King, Ruben Sierra. Oh, sweet checklist. Shout out to Gourmet, who says sweet checklist every single time. And there is the puzzle. Carl Yastrzemski, Julio Franco, Kelly Mann, Von Hayes, Glen Allen Hill, as you can see. The first one smoked that one. But Craig also sent me a stack of Machado, Mancini, and Ripken cards. Craig is a jokester. As you can tell, if you're not familiar with Craig, there's another Hall of Famer there. If you're not familiar with him, he is a prankster. So some more Hall of Famers and a Dwight Gooden. So not all, not bad. No Ripkins. We didn't hit any Ripkins in the 1990 Donruss and we didn't get the reverse negative card. But we did get three sweet puzzle pieces and a Tampa Bay Rays. So my favorite card of the thing entire break is I got multiple Donnie Wahlberg cards. All right. Now that I've rid the world of the Craigfield box, I've got some 2020 Bowman, but I also have two packs that I got today and my package of 2019. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip through these two 2019 Bowman before we get started on the 2020, because I have not opened any 2020 yet. And I had no idea I was going to buy it but I just felt obligated because it was there and it's the hottest thing on the market right now. Little Bartolo Colonis, a Michael Kopech rookie. So back-to-back -back rookies, you're gonna get that in Bowman. Kyle Freeland, Rosario, Aaron Judge, and the Chrome. Pete Alonzo, Bowman Chrome. I knew it was sticking there again, Austin Beck. But that is a nice Peter Alonzo Bowman Chrome card. So I will hang on to that baby. Hunter Green, Kyle Freeland. Oh, did I already do these? I already did those. No, I just happened to get doubles. Huh, that's interesting. I got the same exact ones in the back because I had two packs together and I forgot about it. Jordan Alvarez. Paper. But that is a nice one. Victor Mesa Jr. First Bowman Chrome. So, not bad. On the 2019, got a couple nice hits, but that's not what we're here for tonight. This is what we're here for tonight. The first launch of my 2020 Bowman. Again, I had no plans on opening this product because you can't find it anywhere, but my Walmart had a bunch of these. And in these uh, value packs, you get the bonus five camos. So I will pile those up. I'll open them all at the end. But let's open up these and check out the first 2020 Bowman. And there's gonna be a lot of guys I am not familiar with. But we are coming out of the gates with the Jordan Alvarez Rookie of the Year favorites. Obviously, he's a favorite because he won the Rookie of the Year. But that's a pretty nice looking card. I'll set that one off. And Adam Hall. Nice Adam Hall chrome. Keep my Orioles and my chrome separate. So we got a couple chromes there. And there's the Dustin May rookie. 
and Trent Grisham rookie. So not a bad start. Uh, Jordan Chrome looks like it has some potential. We're going to learn on the fly with this stuff. Seth Brown, Shane Bieber, Cody Bellinger, and the Casey Mize, number 1-1. One, one. He is the he was the first round draft pick back in 2018. Yeah, because 2019, yeah, first overall pick 2018, because Rushman was 2019. Casey Mize. So that is a nice one. Speaking of the draft, I think it's supposed to take place on the 10th this year. I think they're only doing five rounds, but still looks to be uh, like it's going to happen. If baseball happens, unfortunately, it does not look like baseball is going to come to any sort of agreement. The owners are content sitting on their hands and waiting on the players, and the players are acting like they've done enough to, to play. So the players say they want to play, but I don't think that's what's going on in the meetings. The owners can't have... 115 games this year because they can't afford it. Let's see what this next pack has. Logan Allen. Dylan Cease. Rookie. I like that one. And there is the rookie of the year favorite, Gavin Lux. So they are apparently are in each pack. And the chrome is couple guys I have not heard of. Jesus Lazardo rookie. That's a nice one. We'll set him off to the side. And Abraham Toro. As much old stuff as I open. It is very hard for me to... There's the sweet Nolan Arenado. We'll set him off to the PC stack. Put him up there. Pete Alonzo, I will keep him. And the talent pipeline is going to be of the Mets. Bowman Chrome, that is just a nice looking card. Jonathan India, I actually have heard of him. Josh Jung and Sam Huff, first Bowman Chrome. Another Dustin May rookie, another Trent Gisham rookie. So two of my packs are done, and we'll rip those camos at the end, because I have no idea what could be waiting for us inside of those. Laser, Mike Ustrimsky, and there is the Riley Green Bowman Scouts. I actually pulled a Raleigh Green Auto out of a boombox, and I've been following him ever since. So that's a nice looking chrome. Another Adam Hall paper. And Hunter Green. Brennan Davis are the two chromes. Willie Calhoun. Zach Gallon rookie. And Munoz rookie. So it's a nice looking product. I like I said I have I'm a tops guy. I usually just stick to the flagship, but so you watch enough YouTube, you feel obligated to buy this stuff when you see it. And there is a sweet numbered card. Mauricio Dubon, 499, rookie. He was the 773rd overall pick, so don't have high hopes for that, but that is a number card. And Christian Robinson from the Diamondbacks, top 100. Got the Jason Dominguez first Bowman. That's sweet. That's the guy, that's the one we're all chasing in this set. Tyler Freeman and Riley Green in Chrome. Mike Trout, Frankie Lindor. So not a bad star pack there. Chris Bryant, Mike Trout, 
Francisco Lindor almost dropped the whole pack to the floor there. I'm kind of excited about this because there was a bunch of this still on the shelf and I have to go back there tomorrow morning. So I may pick up a few more of these. The aisle was very crowded and I had to work my way through to get to it. Jeff McNeil, love Jeff McNeil. Put him up there. Tatis, Blake Snell, and we got us a rookie. It is the Bo Bichette rookie card. That is a sweet looking card right there. Very nice Bo Bichette. We'll keep that right there. I definitely have some research to do. And the Chrome is going to be Christian Javier and Libertor. Put those in the Chrome stack. Buster Posey, Glaber Day, and no more Mazzara. So I'm not disappointed. I got me a Dominguez. I got me a Bichette. I got me a Jordan Alvarez. Gavin Lux. There's an Aquino on the back. So we hit the four. Altuve. Uh-oh. What we got here? This one's backwards. Boom. Mitch Stallings. Number to 250. Autograph. That is pretty sweet right there. Don't know anything about Mitch Stallings, but I will find out. Dolby, uh, Bobby Dahlbeck. Number 59 out of 100. And let's see who our Chrome is. Amaya and Nick Allen is our Chrome. Xander Bogarts, Acuna. And there is the Aquino rookie. So, not bad. Cannot complain about this product so far. And the final and then we will rip these camo packs. Luis Castillo, who I thought was gonna be the Cy Young winner before the season got put on hold. And we got a Brendan McKay Rookie of the Year favorite. Put him in that stack. That was a very thick card. Hunter Bishop. And then the chrome is Logan Davidson and Cody Hose. Hoes. Hoes. Kikuchi. Mac Chapman and Castillo. So last pack before we open up our camo. I want to thank everybody for being here and checking out the, the world's last Craig Field package. And this 2020 chrome as your there's a nice Bowman Chrome, Joe Adele. And Joe Adele, of course, is going to probably be in the uh, Angels outfield. I don't know now that the season has started, but Joe Adele is a very high prospect with the Angels. And this is Charlie Hayes' son, I believe, Cabrian Hayes. I am not mistaken. That is the son of Charlie Hayes. But it does not say that, so maybe I still believe it is. And Luis Garcia. So some good players there. Hanser Alberto, Soroka, and Robel Garcia. So not bad on the paper, but the chrome got us a number, got us a numbered autograph. And now we're gonna rip some camo and see what we have in here. Dylan Carlson, probably the most recognizable name in there. Admittingly, I am not a big prospect guy. I can tell you about the top ones, but. Casey Mize, I said I know Casey Mize, but the rest of them, I don't know. So I'm still two for two. 
I know one person out of two packs, each pack. All right, let's get this out of the way. Jacob Amaya, Sam Huff, Adley Rushman. Boom. That's one I definitely wanted to hit out of here. Of course, the Orioles have very high hopes for Rushman. He will not be in the majors this year now. They will definitely hold him back, but I expect he would definitely start next year with the big team. Ryan Mountcastle, another. He was the AAA Player of the Year last year. Minor League Player of the Year, sorry. That's what it says, not AAA. Dane Dunning, Owen Miller, and O'Neill Cruz. So last one, maybe we can find us a Dominguez in camo. Wouldn't that be sweet? <coughs> mm, excuse me. Matt Manning and Zach Thompson. So no Dominguez in there. Best card for me would be the Adley Rushman out of there. But got two of the big prospects from the O's. I was pretty happy with that. And of course the auto that was purple and the Boba Shet, which looks to be a very nice looking card. So not disappointed so far. May even pick up some more. But thank you guys for watching and till next time guys. Later.